Are you looking to use Xero in your business? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of how it works and why it might be a good idea to use in your business. So this is Xero, and what I'm gonna do is run very quickly through uh, the overall features, what it's about, and the benefits to you for using it. Before we do, please do click the subscribe button below and you'll be notified every time we release a video. So let's get straight into this overview of Xero. So as you can see here, this is the main screen on Xero as you log in, and it's your dashboard as it's known. Now, the thing with this and Xero itself, and this goes for nearly all cloud software, in fact, probably all cloud software that I can think of at this moment in time as we're recording the video, is there's no user limit. So you can have a login, other people in your, in your organization can have a login, accountants can have a login, it's very good to collaborate. So traditional software on your computer was very much driven in cost terms by how many people wanted to access it at once. So in this particular case, you can go on and so can everyone else, you can use it at the same time. It's not physically installed on any one computer, so all you need is an internet connection. So if you've got an iPad, if you've got a laptop, if you've got uh, your computer, your web browser, which is what I'm looking at in at the moment, doesn't matter what, you can see it straight away and that's one of the beauties of this. Of course, the downside is you need an internet connection. So if you're out in the sticks and you and you have none, you're gonna struggle to use it. So it, that is an obvious downside, but from, a, from an accessibility point of view, normally it's fantastic. And over the years of using this as, as a firm of accountants, it has had very, very little downtime. Like anything, every now and then it's gonna go down, but it's very, very rare. I mean, I can think of two instances probably in the last, say, 10 years. Comparing that to the amount of times your computer crashes when it doesn't update and all the rest of it, it is actually very, very good. So this is how it looks. Uh, and generally, it's quite a nice layout. This product's always been out there as a cloud product, so it's not been adapted, and I think that's one of the benefits of actually using it. And what I love about it, and what our clients love about it, is the easy to use language generally. So you can see here your bank, and one of the amazing things about this being in the cloud and with open banking as it's well known now is the technology exists to be able to grab the transactions each day from your bank and pull it straight in. And quite often it'll actually live update during the day, but minimum you get it each day. And that's what these reconcile 27 items is that's here. Now, if we click into here, what you find is that you can see on your left hand side, all of your transactions coming in. And on the right hand side, you go in and you tell it what each one is. So, you know, if this smart agency here, 4,500 quid was um, some sort of training, you can go in here, smart agency, you can type training and it deals with VAT if you need to, you can press OK. The alternate way is you can actually have keyed a receipt on already, and it's coming in here and saying, ah, oh, actually, is this payment to Truxton actually this receipt that you've said is to Truxton, or this payment in this particular case? And you can match them. So there's lots of different ways. You can also plug in other apps like Receipt Bank, Auto Entry, some of these other applications that you can snap a receipt with, and it transmits them into the program. But if you didn't want to do that, you can just use the plus button here, and you can add a bill. And as I say, if you look in here in this plus button, you can see it's all easy to use words, you know, spend money, receive money. They're not using any posh terms or anything that's gonna confuse you, that's great. And you can go in here, you know, and just type in, you know, smart agency. You can fill in your description and your quantity, your price, and it's also all out for you and you can match it to the receipt. So you can tell it what it is. So again, we said it was staff training, didn't we? It's a staff training. And there you go, if it's got VAT on, it will handle it all for you and you can approve that. Now, what's amazing about cloud software as well, from a revenue and customs inspection point of view, is it gives you the opportunity here, this little picture here means you can drag and drop any file you want into it and attach it. So if you wanted to use actually receipts, pictures of receipts, some of these applications will do it automatically for you, but if you physically had it on email or something like that, you can just drag it in here and it'll attach it. So it's all there, so if revenue customs ever wanted to see it, you'll be okay. Of course, that's, for me, the bank feed is the one thing that takes the, that saves the biggest amount of time for you and make sure that, because if you've ever had to put a, a full set of books together, we're not just talking here about tracking what where you're spending your money, that's all part of it, but it's actually tying up every penny in the in the business from that bank account to all your receipts and all your costs. And you can do that very, very easily through here. The, the skill comes in actually making sure that it's, it's all balanced. So connecting it to your bank is a massive positive. Now, the other thing that studies show is that using cloud software will increase the speed at which you get paid. So you can see here, you can send an invoice or a quote to a client. Now let's just use an invoice example. Again, it's just a form that you've got to fill out. So you can put, uh, I'm not sure what customers we've got on here. I think they say golf balls, but um, we can do office supplies. We can sell some golf balls. This is some items that they've set up here and it already pre-fills a lot of the information for us, which is great. So if you wanted to say hundred golf balls, you can see it's done. 
and you can approve that and you can email straight from here as well. It will come to the client with your email address on it as well. So it all comes through very nicely attached to the email if you want it to. Uh, with your branding that can all be set up inside of the software, which is fantastic. And again, uh, because of this, what you can also do is attach payment solutions. So if you've ever heard of GoCardless or Stripe are just two examples, they allow you to get direct debits and they allow you to be paid by card. You can actually attach those services inside Zero, so that the person, your client or customer clicking on the invoice will get the option to pay via those services. Now, yes, there's gonna be a charge for those services, but it really does make you get paid quicker. So that is another amazing feature of, of this particular product and generally cloud products as a whole. The other thing, of course, you can do is, and again, if you update this regularly, you can use it as a log for who you owe what to. So this is invoices owed to you, shows you what's overdue, and again, you can send statements here. So, you know, if you're if there's anything overdue, you can go to the send statements button here and send people. In this example, they've got a couple that are overdue. You can see some haven't been sent here. And it really is, as somebody who uses this to run their own business, uh, it really is a good tool for this. You can put draft invoices in there while you're playing around. And obviously you can turn quotes into invoices when you've made that transition. You can key bills on. So you can see here in this example, they've got 12 things they've got to pay. All of their bills, in fact, are overdue at this particular point, and it shows you a, a bit of a snapshot as you go. So you can use all those things to keep on top of what you're spending, and it allows you to set a watch list up. So of course, there's loads of reports in here where you can see profit and losses, it would be known, it shows your income and your expenditure. But you can also set up if there's anything particular you're interested in. In this example, they, they want to see what they're doing year to date on advertising, that's what that YTD is year to date, um, and you can see how much they're spending so you can track those things as well to keep a real eye on your numbers it can also if you really want it to it can do stock so there's a stock function so you can set different items up and it'll track how many you've got in stock and the only downside to that i think is if you've got a vast amount of stock there is an upper cap at the time of recording on the amount of items that it could take so uh, i'd be be careful of that one but again the beautiful thing about zero particularly is there's a whole wide world of extra applications so if you've got a really big stock need you can get another application that will manage that and plug into zero so that that can all still be handled but the basic zero will do uh, stock at a basic level which is good if you're in the construction industry it would also do CIS as it's known construction industry scheme deductions it takes a bit of setting up but it is in here you can actually um, put your CIS labor and what it will do is you can see here it will give you a bit of a deduction down the bottom for everything that you want to show so you can see it's already taking your 20% uh, off on this particular example uh, and everything else and one of the things it's good for it is it handles VAT as well so in this case this is done a VAT inclusive 100 pound but if you just wanted to do 100 plus VAT it will also do that for you and it'll show there the 20 pound plus VAT and the CIS deduction. So it handles VAT, handles CIS, handles all those things as well. So you can make less chance of a numerical error as accountants, we see those quite a lot. It also offers a couple of other features, which as accountants we don't use very often. We tend to use other, other products, but we do have the odd client that's come to us that use this. There's a payroll function. You can pay a little bit extra to have that. That works. Um, there's a projects function, especially if you track time and other costs that create a billable thing at the end, then the projects function is quite cool as well. So both those two are extra paid elements, but it will do it. The other extra paid element you could possibly do is if you've got multi-currency. So if you hold a bank account in US dollars or something like that, you can actually set the accounts up so that it will do the currency conversions and, and work very well with that. So that can all be done as well. And that is a very quick overview of Zero. From our point of view, it allows you to get paid quicker, it maximizes your tax deductions because you're able to keep better records, which is our number one tax saving tip, and it just keeps you on top of your numbers. So that's zero. If you've got any questions, please do get in touch, and one of our team would love to speak to you. If you've got value out of this video, please do share it with your networks.